Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about uh, how to handle generic exception handling in Spring Boot. In the last video session, we have implemented how to handle generic validation messages. In this slide, see a stock management exception handler. This is a class, the same class used for validation also. The same class we are going to use for exception handling. This one class is enough to handle exception in all classes we will going to create. Um, here uh, we have six classes. These six classes can use this particular class to handle an exception. Okay, let's see how to do that. I, uh, we have already created here, right? We are already created here. Now I am going to create one more class called error message. error message oh, okay. okay error message class we have created and then I want to handle exception now go to uh, stock management controller the stock management controller we are handling uh, we are adding uh, products um, products and uh, viewing product and um, listing all products this endpoint we have already created now I want to handle exception part of this okay now um, when i add product there is a chance we will going to get exception how to handle the exception here for example let's say one scenario here i say ice cream one when you look at a database ice cream one is added but i want to prevent adding the numbers in the product name in the product name i want to add only letters i don't want to add a number okay if anyone adds a number i want to throw well uh, throw the exception okay see in the common utils i created a one method already it's a is valid letter is valid letter then and then allow to insert a db otherwise uh, throw some exception okay before saving to database, common util. I created a class called common utils dot is valid sorry, is valid letters product dot get product name. This method return only uh, true if, if the product name does not have any numbers. Or special character okay so I want to say not if, if, if the if the product name not a valid then throw exception throw new exception product product is having uh, product the product does not have should not have other than letters okay this uh, is giving some error so I need to say I need to add here throws exception okay now I'll going to restart my application okay hmm? so restarter I'm going to postman I'll go to invoke the same endpoint see internal server I am getting internal server error yeah. here here um, is if the product name of uh, having any uh, numbers other than uh, other than letters I am throwing the error okay here I am ice cream one I am adding here ice cream one so it's throwing the error uh, throwing the error but it's giving that error as an internal server error let's see what's going on here See, this is our exception handling class, right? This is our exception handling class. This class extended from response entity exception handler. When you go inside that class, there is one method called handle exception. This handle exception is a centralized method handling all type of exception. In this method, they have they are used one exception, what they are used one annotation that is exception handler exception handler annotation. 
inside this annotation they are passed an array of exception types but they are they are passing array of exception exception type this method handle all all the exception which is defined here when you look at this when you look at this method implementation for example here if exception type is this type i want to say i want to do something here if exception type is this type i want to do something here like that they are handling the exception here if system throws other than this exception if system throws other than this exception what they are doing else they want to throw that exception here else they want to throw that exception blindly here so by default spring boot returns internal server error okay by default spring boot return internal server error in our method in our controller method just we are throwing just we are throwing here but we are not handling this exception that is the problem since we are not we are not handling this exception it gives a internal server error we need to override that behavior we need to override that behavior by our own implementation okay how to do that it's a very simple just to copy this method just to copy this method this is our exception handling class right just to paste here instead of handle exception give any exception name method name you can give handle handle custom exception okay i don't want this i don't want all this method exception i want handle only exception dot class okay now i already created one error message right error message i am using here that equal to new error message it has a three argument right one is error message then error code then current time stamp now i want to get the error message i can get error message from this object ex dot get message comma error code i will give my own error code to dot two and i want to give um, current time stamp i have a one class called common util that i return that method that class having one one method called get current date time that gives the current date time okay now i am uh, constructing this error message through this ex dot get message i am passing my own error code then i am passing current date and time then i want to return this response object right for that return new response entity i want to pass this message pass this message then i want to pass error code what is the error code i can say http status dot bad request okay i don't want to enter number value special character i want to enter only new um, letters so the, if the if user enter other than any character i am considering that is a bad request so i am passing this error message then i am i saying it's a bad request whenever throw this method for if user entered invalid character i am throwing this message sorry i am throwing this exception it will come to here it will come to here call this method it come to here call this method inside that method i am constructing the error message then that error message i am passing here with the status code bad request so this will return that message this will return this so the uh, this exception throws whatever i am constructing there let's see what's going on let's see uh, what is the output sorry i'll go to restart so firewall starter i will going to again sending the request the product should not you i i given wrong message should have i given sorry we i need to change that the product should have other than letters oh, sorry guys should not have should not have right starter i am sending request now the product should not have other than letters okay since i am entering one here one here 
I am, I am this is valid letter checking that if the product name contain other than letter if it is it throw this exception whenever throw this exception it will come to this method it will come to this method how this come uh, come to this method um, whenever throw exception type whenever throw exception type call this method I am saying to spring boot since don't uh, forgot this uh, if you want to handle centralized error method that particular class annotated with add controller advice then that annotated with add rest controller okay that is a mandatory after doing that this method i want to throw this method i want to call whenever throws exception class so here i am calling through throw new exception so this class get invoked this sorry this method get invoked inside that method i am constructing this error message first, first argument i am passing the message second argument i am passing error code third argument i am passing a current date and time now that value available here this object i am passing this response entity as a uh, response error response then i am saying it's a bad request this entire response coming here the entire response coming here i hope you understand how, how this is working okay this is the way of handling a generic exception in a spring boot okay now these things still this exception class is a predefined exception right that the, it's a part of our jdk but in in such a case i want to create my own exception class i want to create my own ex exception class so in the exception class in the exception package i'll go to get one more class called mm, invalid input exception okay invalid input exception Extend exception okay here then I am calling super of this message that's it the simple uh, custom exception here I, um, I mentioned here invalid input exception instead of handling exception I want to uh, handle my own exception class so okay now I implemented the invalid, invalid input exception then I am going to my controller class in the controller class just I want to use invalid input exception invalid input exception then after throwing this exception I want to uh, save once throw this exception how to handle this that part we need to implement here right just to copy this method copy this method just to say invalid input exception invalid input exception here also we to say invalid input exception ex dot get message then uh, rest is same thing only now you have to you have to change here also now whenever throw this exception this method invoke and I am constructing the error message. I am passing this error message here. Uh, see, invalid. Yeah, here is a bad request only. Since the two methods are having the same, right? I don't want to do this. I, I don't want to do the same uh, behavior for both the both the class, both the method. So I want to do here internal server. This kind of unknown error. See, whenever uh, uh, whenever throw this exception class I want to say internal server error other than exception class I want to say specific error since if whenever throw invalid input exception I want to say specific error which is an uh, invalid character if any exception unknown exception is coming uh, unknown exception coming means we are not able to get a base uh, some some type of exception that time I want to throw this exception say then I want to say internal server error okay I'm going to restart this application. One more thing, sorry, I I, I wanted to give unique error code. This is two not one. This is two not two. Okay, we should not give uh, uh, same error code. Okay, again I'm restarting the application. Yeah, so restarted. Now I'm going to again try to insert 
the same thing 202 error is coming here now uh, what i'm doing uh, in previous example i used the i, I throw a exception class in this now uh, now i change it to invalid input exception my own error class okay then uh, now we're going to uh, whenever get a product whenever get a product i want to throw an exception say uh, product not found something like that okay hmm? In, in such a case, I want I'll going to create a one more exception class, new Java class. Product not found exception. Okay. In the stock management controller, I want to view particular product. If the product product is not found, what I want to do? I want to I want to say something to the other user, right? So I want I want to throw some exception. Through that exception, I will going to say this product is not available, like that. Okay. Where is get product? Yeah, get mapping product ID. If product equal to equal to null. throw new product not found exception product is not available product is not available simply I'm throwing product is not available now I want to handle this exception right so go to your stock management exception handler class copy this method Copy this method product not found. Then say product not found exception. Product not found exception. Again, I'm going to in this method doing the same implementation. Error message equal to new error message. I am passing whatever message is binded with this. Uh, uh, exception object i am taking that message then passing 203 as error code then current time current uh, date and time then he now we are going to change status is not found there is a one more http status called not found not found there is this not found uh, status which is a 404 okay it's a 404 okay now i am going to restart the application Okay, restarted. Okay, I'll going to say some other product called um chocolate. Order price is forty. Then point is twenty. See, status to creator is added already. Let's check the database. The chocolate is added. I want to add one more product. The same ice cream. Product price is 200, then 10. See, two product added. I want to view by providing a product ID slash one slash one is a get method. See product is displayed here. So slash two product is displayed here. I will go to say slash three three. What will happen now? Product is not available. Two not three. The current date and time whatever you are handling handling here whenever uh, if product is not available in the database i am throwing this error okay whenever throw this exception i want i am saying to the spring boot whenever throw this exception please call this method please call this method inside this method i am impl implementing my own implementation i am initializing the error message get this message from this uh, exception object passing in my 
uh, custom class then i am passing that error code as a 203 then current date and time now the response entity i am passing this error message uh, object i am saying this error message is a not phone type status is a not phone, not phone type that is printing here okay i think i hope you understand how to handle a generic exception how how i am saying this is a generic exception now this same method i can reuse the same method i can reuse multiple controller classes for example as of now i am having a stock management controller as of now i am having a stock management controller if you create for example i want to create a one more controller user controller i want to manage user the okay, user only go user only go and add the stock right i want to manage user information my employee information i for that i want to create one more class one more con controller class called user controller whenever throw any exception in my user controller i want to reuse the same exception method i don't want to use uh, i don't want to implement new 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 method okay so whatever controller you're going to introduce in our project all those controllers will use only the same method we don't have to implement newly let's see how to do that in the next video okay now i'm going to uh, create that user controller create that user service uh, in, the, in the stock management when you see the service class i created a service class i created a um of the classes everything right um so like that i'm going to create i don't want to create by uh, teaching okay i don't want to waste your time so i will prepare the classes i'll again come back and explain how to reuse uh, these methods how to reuse these methods okay until then bye bye from fresh cash please subscribe if you are not yet share this video to your friend circle Click bell icon for regular updates. Thank you so much for watching this full video. Until next video, bye bye from Suresh Kesaran.